The Prime Minister has confirmed all Australians in Iraq are safe, but it's believed troops and diplomats could be withdrawn after the attacks on two US bases. Here's our political reporter, Eliza Edwards, with all the reaction from Canberra. Images purportedly showing Iranian missiles flying through the sky towards US air bases. In what Iran describes as a revenge attack for the assassination of General Qasim Soleimani, the military escalation a major concern for the hundreds of Australian troops and diplomats in Iraq. Uh, the CDF has been able to confirm to me at this point uh, that all Australian diplomatic personnel and all ADF personnel are safe. But the Prime Minister not taking any chances. It is, is a matter of uh, protecting and defending uh, those, those Australians where they are. If the US moves to withdraw its troops, Sky News understands Australia will do the same, with non-essential embassy staff already evacuated. The potential for retaliation also up to the president. Now the president uh, has to look at this carefully and we'll find out whether or not uh, Mr Trump is the president we voted for. Remember, he said he was going to end these endless wars. This is potentially very dangerous indeed. And I don't want to see Australia drawn into a military conflict in the Middle East. Australia will no doubt seek clarity on President Trump's next move. The US Defence Secretary says the country isn't seeking a war with Iran, but is prepared to finish one. I think it has become very explosive and I think the stage is set really for a major confrontation. Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra. The Prime Minister has confirmed the National Security Council will meet tomorrow to discuss tensions in Iran. Scott Morrison's office released a further statement that says the PM has met with defence and security advisers, including the Ministers for Defence and Foreign Affairs, the Chief of the Defence Force, the Chief of Joint Operations, the Director General of National Intelligence, the Acting Director of the Defence Intelligence Organisation, the Secretaries of PM&C and the Defence Department and the Acting Secretary of DFAT. No further actions or decisions deemed necessary at this time. However, the situation continues to be closely monitored. Engagement is also continuing with coalition partners, especially the USA.